Hi, hi, hi. <clears throat> so I wanted to touch on a topic which is near and dear to my heart because it has fucked me over more times than I care to mention. And that is the illusion of knowledge. And what does that mean? Well, to put it simply, it is the phenomenon that because you feel that you're, uh, you feel confidence or you fool yourself into believing that you're smarter than you are or you fool yourself into believing a false sense of confidence in your abilities based on things that are not actually skill or experience or what I can... It's... Uh, imagine a martial artist trains a lot, gets really good in the ring builds up a mental condition where he's feeling pretty good about himself, feels confident, knows he can handle himself. And one day he gets in a real fight, handles it fairly well, gets, you know, you know protects himself. And then one of the people in the group that he's, uh, the guys of, that's starting this fight with him, pulls out a gun. Boom gun in his face he's never prepared for it he has no idea what to do he freezes completely and they kill him that's what i'm talking about you get a false sense of knowledge that's like and this is just a human thing like you start thinking that if i know these i got you know i can take myself i think i i'm fairly good at programming and Whenever somebody says, oh, you know, these are the new languages or like new concepts and so stuff, my brain immediately goes, okay, cool, this is interesting. I think I can handle this. And most of, like I train and train and train to make sure that, you know, most of the time this is true, but sometimes I just hit, hit, hit a wall and I go, shit, I have no idea what's going on. I have, I have no idea how to solve this. And I lose all that confidence. Like it's like a balloon with, with air, if you will. It just deflates immediately and I lose all confidence I have in my abilities. And why I'm touching on this is because, and surprise, surprise, this is gonna be about frameworks in JavaScript. If you start out by learning React, Angular or Vue or anything like that, and that's the environment that you live in. Because right now, let's take React. It's really popular, really, a lot of people are talking about it. I mean, even non-technical people are. And you start working with that exclusively. That's your first stop. What's gonna happen is that you are gonna learn, to, uh, learn programming in a way, and you're gonna get really comfort comfortable working inside of that environment. However, you forget that Angular is solving a lot of problems for you, creating other problems too, but it's solving a lot of problems that people like myself and even and people much more experienced than I am had in the past. And like, that's the motivation for this tool. So for them who started out with like vanilla JavaScript and had all these issues and like built up this need for Angular or sorry, for React or Angular as well, they have a deeper understanding of JavaScript and the problems that Angular are so is solving. You're getting into that framework because it's popular. They're getting into it because they had problems that are now solved through this framework. And they, their understanding of these issues is much deeper. So what I'm trying to say here is that if you start out with just using these high level abstractions, you get too far away from the underlying mechanisms and the native APIs that the browser and JavaScript are providing. And that's dangerous because you're gonna start feeling good about yourself and you should. I mean, if you're learning programming shit, you're already a Titan, right? You like, I, I just want you to know this. I respect you immensely. If you go into programming, you are a fucking God in my opinion, because this is not an easy business. It's really fun, really challenging, but it's not for everybody. And right, so what I'm saying is that you'll get really good at this, you start getting confident, and then you go to an interview and they say, hey, we don't want you to use this framework because I've actually, my job interview at Ticketmaster, they didn't want me to use any frameworks. I had to use native JavaScript. 
like everything native. And some people, they, like, don't, don't be fooled. There are a lot of companies out there who are going to test you in this way because they want to know that you're good, not that you know, you know JavaScript. You don't know just React or Angular. You know JavaScript. And that, my friend, is a very big... There's a big difference there from what I'm talking about. So make sure that you're not using these frameworks as in a, a crutch. They should help you be more productive, and but not like limit your ability to do things such as th this is the way I think about it if you're a truly good craftsman you you should be able to do both you don't have to do them as well but you should be able to do both if you need to, at all if you need angular or react to eat pr to produce things then you have a problem you have a limit in your knowledge and you should take a look at that that's what i try to do all the time i'm trying to find my gaps and plug them plug 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 all the time and that's continuous learning right and i highly suggest that you have the same approach because at the end of the day these like these frameworks are going to uh, they're just a supplement to your knowledge like you should be I'm not saying that you should be able to make them exactly the same way as yourself but you shouldn't rely on them to be able to produce something because remember people were producing applications before these frameworks so if I had one tip for you guys if you're just starting out I would say you are never touch JavaScript start by doing the native JavaScript stuff learn the basics learn how to create an application using just vanilla javascript and if you absolutely need to use a framework use something like Vue. and i'm saying i'm can't believe i'm saying this but the the reason why i'm not recommending react as the first 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 thing you can get into that quickly but don't start with it is because view of the frameworks that are out there is probably the thing that is closest to the native JavaScript implementations. It's the closest thing. React is still a very fancy and has a really high level API and Angular is even worse. I mean Angular is a completely different world from doing regular programming. So do yourself this favor. Don't use these things as an excuse not to learn what's actually happening under the hood.